I'd like to ask your permission to use this video for educational purpose and on the internet. Yes, you can use this. I just ask you if you remember your leg pain and yes. you start laughing. <laughs> Tell yes. me about it. Yes, I remember the leg pain. It ran down the whole back side of my left leg from mm -hmm. my buttocks all the way down the back of my leg. And it was intense. Even into the foot? Is it into the foot? Yeah, it ran all the way. We are. Uh, yeah. I mean, and I can remember coming here for x-rays, mm -hmm. and I could barely walk down the hallway, but it was before the construction, yeah. to get to CT. It was awful. Yeah, well, I mean, the surgery was about one and a half year ago. Right. And we didn't get a small surgery. This is what we did. We did a L4 to S1, what we called a fusion, olive procedure, this transcambine. Now... After we did try everything else, you weren't getting better, and we decided we go and fix that. Correct. Do you remember the surgery? Um. Yeah, I remember the surgery. Yeah. How long did you stay in the hospital? I was here overnight, Just and overnight. then I went home the following day. When did the leg pain go away? When did it go away? Yeah. When did you I notice that I the leg pain is gone? I mean, I I think I had some relief, honestly, immediately, and mm -hmm. then it, you know. Just leveled off, I'd say, over the next two to three months, probably. Yeah. I don't um, remember. Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, the, the back pain, you know, they're telling me the back pain is now just one of ten. And that's with exertion. Is that correct? Um, it's a little bit more with exertion. Okay. Uh, one to ten is how I feel today. I, yeah. am very, I have no pain actually right now. Mm -hmm. If I exert myself, like if I do a lot of bending or lifting or I'm out in my garden working, then it will creep up and I get a little stiff, but nothing yeah. that I can't tolerate, nothing that a couple Tylenol won't take care of. Yeah, and that pain that was really bad in the back, how long did that take to go away after the surgery? Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's long ago, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. And, you know, I'm, it's a good thing you forgot about it. That's I, a good thing. You, yeah. don't, you don't want you to remember that. I'd say, you know, within a couple of months, the pain yeah. was really gone. I mean, when did you, when did you, do you remember when you did go back to your ba basic daily activity? Like how many days or weeks did it take to be able to take care of yourself? Oh, oh I'd say a good three months or so. To be, you know? to be back to, to everything or to be just uh, doing basic daily activity? Oh, well, basic activity I was able to do probably within two to three weeks. Okay. You know, I was slow moving and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Um, but I could bathe myself and care yeah. for myself and get dressed. It was maybe a struggle some days. But Let's ask the most important question. When did you start doing gardening again? Because um, that's what you like to summer, do. Last summer. I yeah. had surgery in January 21, and we planted a garden in May of 21. So a few and months later. A few months later. That's I'm perfect. not the best at it, but um, <laughs> we did it. Yeah, excellent. Well, you know, for how long did you have the pain before the surgery? Um, I want to say four to five years. Four to five years. Excruciating. And uh, lots of my colleagues say, what well, you have what we call degenerative disc disease. That's what you have. Yeah. And lots of my colleagues say, don't do surgery for that problem. Don't do fusion for that problem. We did it for you. You did get better. I did. So, I'm much better. I'm 100% better. Yeah. And, but many of our colleagues, they, they say, we don't believe that you should do this fusion for this problem. And many patients go for tens of years with the pain before they find somebody who wants to take on them. Yep. I consulted a different physician prior to coming to what you. What did they tell you? What that physician um, tell you? That they wouldn't help me, basically, in they so wouldn't many help words. You. So they just let you, they just told you, just go away, live with it. Is yeah, that, pretty much. Yeah. What, what, after you know what you know now, what would you say to other patients or other surgeon who say, don't do this surgery for this problem? I'd say, don't wait, get it done now. Call <laughs> Dr. Abbasi. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I really appreciate that. Actually, I'm going to send this to a good friend of mine. He as well knows that this works. Yeah. And you offer that to his patient. But we sometimes we have to uh, show other, or some of our other colleagues that this can be extremely effective. We see it every day. Yeah. I think the problem with other surgeons that they, they don't offer that, they use techniques that cause the technique itself cause so much damage that recovering from that damage offset any bit potential benefit from the surgery sure. so now the surgery you got i remember it was uh, just one hour surgery and you mm -hmm. stayed one night in the hospital yeah this surgery in some without some other technique could be easily five hour surgery and just people don't recover well from the surgery yeah. itself and that is why 
those surgeons are hesitant to help people like yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. Well, nope. my, I feel my life has changed for the better. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're